Hey everyone, I've got a post that I'd really like to share with you. Uh, this was originally created by an Instagram user named Gervais, J-E-R-V-A-E, -E, and the video looks like this. So if you wanna see a captioned version, go look up Gervais on Instagram and, and find this post right here. But otherwise, take a listen with me. Starts out with some pretty tough truth and then gets into some really groundbreaking concepts about body size and worthiness. So stick with it, I promise it's worth it. It's called, Do I Judge Others for Being Fat? Being fat since I have such a fear of it? Let me start that over. Do I judge others for being fat since I have such a fear of it? If you judge yourself for doing things that might make you fat, you judge others for doing things that might make them fat, and you judge others for being fat. This is a judgment of fatness. This is fat phobia. How you treat people is a direct reflection of how you treat yourself. If you believe that there is a condition that your body could be in that would make you less worthy of love, then that belief is also applied to the world around you. You can perform fat acceptance by withholding overtly fat phobic commentary. You can also try to hide overtly anti-fat behavior, but you are more than what you present to the world. You are also the you that lives within yourself, and that's the authentic you. That's the more powerful you. Because just because you don't say something out loud doesn't mean that you're not saying it to yourself. And meditations on fat phobia make room for it to live and control you. Implicit bias, unchecked, and uninvestigated will always be in control. Fat phobia and more specifically sizeism, manifests in a lot of ways that most people cannot see because fat phobia hides behind what the ruling class has established as normal and acceptable. We live in a world that justifies abuse. Fat phobia justifies the abuse of fat people. Fat phobia justifies the glorification of thinness. Fat phobia offers conditional love for perfectionism. White supremacy created perfectionism. White supremacy created perfectionism in its image, condemned the rest of the world to a hell it created, and uses every tool it has to convince us that everything is okay. If you want to be good to fat people, it's useful to be good to yourself because you too are people. You cannot exclude yourself because we are all connected. Remove the conditions that qualify you for love. This is why self-empathy is the root of empathy for others. I believe a more effective way of being an ally to fat people and a more sustainable strategy for moving away from fat phobia is bringing your full self into integrity with fat acceptance. Fat people are worthy of love, and if and when I become fat, or fatter, I will be worthy of love too. Fat people are worthy of love, and if and when I become fat, or fatter, I will be worthy of love too. Being fat phobic is not evidence of failure. It's evidence of indoctrination. It's evidence of white supremacy. And it's not something to be ashamed of, it's something to be aware of, and it's something to take action against. Do I judge others for being fat since I have such a fear of it? My question for you is do you judge yourself? Because you too deserve unconditional love. You too deserve radical acceptance. You too deserve to move through the world without a fear of unworthiness. If it's true, then it applies to you too. You deserve every good thing. Thank you so much for being here. Ah! I love that video so much. I've seen it like five times now. I can't recommend uh, Gervais' account enough. Go and check out the other things that she has to say. Ah, oh, I'm getting all teary, so go and check it out. I hope that you enjoyed that as much as I did. Mwah.